Today, I'm gonna to show you how to change your air conditioner filter. Now, I don't mean regular old, very simple pull out, put the new one in. I'm talking about a filter that's filthy. If you're like me, and like most normal humans, you probably don't get around to changing the filter to like every six months or so. Now, normally, you're supposed to do it once every 30 days, like the manufacturer suggests. And if you do that, hooray to you, this isn't the video for you. I'm talking to those folks out there that are like me. We probably walk by this thing every day. We neglect it and uh, we just don't get around to it. And by the time we get to change the filter, it's so filthy, so dirty, it has a beard growing off of it. And it's just because we haven't gotten around to it. So I'm gonna show you how to properly change a neglected air conditioner filter. Here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a vacuum cleaner. Now, for those of you guys out there that don't own a shop vac, this is important, because I'm gonna teach you how to get a shop vac by showing your wife that you're using a regular vacuum cleaner to do a job that a shop vac should do. I'm gonna need a step stool because my filter is high up and I'm not very tall. Uh, you're gonna need a broom. Now, if you have a shop vac, you're gonna need the broom still, but don't let your wife see you using the broom. Also, if you have a shop vac, don't bust this thing out. So if you have a shop vac, don't use this. This step you're gonna skip. Now, I happen to have a shop vac over here, this monstrosity here, and uh, we're gonna use that. I constantly have to justify to my wife that it was a great investment to purchase one of these. So I'm constantly looking for ways that I can use my shop vac so I can show my wife, you see, we needed a shop vac for that. So I'm gonna show you how to use a shop vac to do something as silly as changing an air conditioner filter because you have to constantly justify this purchase. Before you do anything, you wanna turn the air conditioner off. And a uh, couple reasons, number one, you don't wanna suck any of the dust you're gonna be breaking loose right now up into the actual air conditioner, into those fine little grills that are in there that where the air passes through. Also, you don't want your body to be sucked into the air conditioner like a jet turbine and spit out the back side of it. All right, so the air conditioner filter is up here and uh, it's covered in dust and filth and cobwebs and, and, and whatnot. I mean, it's, it's shameful if I were to show this to an air conditioner guy. Normally, you take a broom and you would sweep out all the debris here, fall on your face into your eyeballs, you'd be blinded, it'd be agonizing, you'd be writhing on the floor in pain. We're gonna not do that just yet. We're gonna use a shop vac. So my shop vac has this extension on it here. Um, it has like this hard rubber bristle. If your shop vac has actual bristles like a, like a brush on it, you're in great shape because then you can do that all in one shot. Mine has this rubber thing on it, so it's really not gonna be as effective as I want it to be. Um, I'm just gonna have to just kind of wing it a little bit here. But of course I won't tell my wife that because she'll be like, well, why do we buy it? So um, we're gonna use a shop vac and we're gonna vacuum up all the extra debris that's on the outside before we even take the filter out. All right, those of you men that don't have a shop vac, listen closely, because I'm about to show you how to get a shop vac. Take your regular vacuum cleaner and you're gonna take this bad boy and you're gonna turn it upside down and you're gonna vacuum out the grill with it. It's not easy to do, it's not how it was designed and if you hurt yourself or if you break your vacuum cleaner, it's not my fault. I just want you to put on a show so you can tell your wife like, geez honey, I wish I had a shop vac because uh, then I could vacuum these grates out. I wouldn't have to do this with your precious vacuum cleaner. So we're gonna put the vacuum up on top, turn it on. And you're gonna vacuum up all this stuff out of the grill. All right, enough of that nonsense, but you get the point. That's how you're gonna to try to get yourself a shop back by struggling with this. Don't make it look easy. You know, uh, make sure you tell like, oh my goodness, I really wish I had that shop back. So if your wife is super cool like my wife, you already got one of these or you found a way to show that you needed it. So with a shop back, we're gonna suck all the debris out of the grill. Once I plug it in. I got like 
99% of it off with a shop vac. Now you take your broom, and don't let your wife see this part, because then she's gonna laugh at you because you have a shop vac and it doesn't do the whole job. And I'm gonna break out the last of it. All right, now that it's snowing, we're gonna clean up our mess. Okay, so if you own a shop vac, this next step, don't do it with your regular wife's vacuum cleaner because you're just gonna be working against yourself. Make sure this thing stays hidden in the closet when you're doing this. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna clean our mess. We just dumped dust bunnies all over the floor and we're gonna vacuum them up. And again, you got a shop vac, use a shop vac. And if your wife asks why are you using that and not the other vacuum cleaner, tell her that the regular vacuum can't handle this level of dust. That's why we got this shop vac. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take off the old filter. And uh, you broke up a lot of debris, so watch your eye holes when you open it so you don't get dust in your eyeballs. All right, and uh, there's the old air filter. And um, this is a shining example of absolute neglect. It's probably been I don't know, six to eight months since I changed this. Now, if you're ever having an air conditioner problem, the air conditioner guy is coming by to check you out, don't let them see that. Put a fresh filter in, or they're gonna think you're a knucklehead like me, and they're gonna charge you for stuff you don't need. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, this is a clean filter. Uh, there's like this metal mesh in here, you can kind of see that. Um, this filter is absolutely filthy. There's like layer upon layer of filth on there, so again, neglectful homeowner me I've changed this so very unoften that uh, it looks like that so before I put the new filter in I'm just gonna vacuum out of the backside here there's a lot of dust here it's just gonna transfer back onto the new filter when I fire the air conditioner back on Oops. all right so now we're ready to install the new air filter and uh, there's gonna be an arrow on this guy that tells you which way the air is supposed to flow. I honestly don't know what the difference is. I think the metal's on one side and the not metal's on the other side. Uh, but I don't want to take any chances because I'm so uh, caring and so particular about my air conditioner that uh, I'm going to go in and just put it in the correct way. And that's how you change a neglected air filter.